it's complicated. Quote, the relationship between mothers and daughters can be as complicated as a Rubik's Cube. I had to start with that quote from my very first guest because she's speaking the truth. She is a Push Cart Prize nominee, and I'm so happy to welcome you to Bluff City Life to share more about your recently released third short story collection, Our Mothers and Daughters. Diane Thomas Plunk, welcome. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for inviting me. Diane, first of all, I have to say thank you because, you know, most of the times I get a lot of emails or messages on social. You took the time to actually sit down and write me a letter and mail it in. So I thank you for that. And I also thank you for this book because in it, it's everything about life. You know, there's laughter and love and sadness and failure. But why did you want to write this at this particular time? Because I know it goes back to the pandemic, and most of it is set here in Memphis. Most of it is in Memphis mm -hmm. because I was born and raised here. Yeah. I wanted to write this book for some time because I think as women, we've all heard stories from our lives, from our friends, about how complex the mother-daughter relationship mm -hmm. can be. So. I wanted to do a collection that included stories looking at various aspects of that relationship. And you go back to 1878, where we had the Memphis yellow fever epidemic, and you think to 2021, we had the COVID-19 pandemic. So you take us way back to start to try to dissect some of these relationships. Why did you want to start there? The title of that story that you just mentioned is The Pinch, mm -hmm. and my great-grandparents were immigrants who lived in The Pinch, mm. and uh, I've learned a lot about their lives and their struggles, and I thought it would be a good setting for the family interactions and challenges in The Pinch during that terrible epidemic. And so we meet Opal Correct in this collection, correct? Yes. Well, you meet her mom. Okay. Because my first two books uh, featured Opal Pratt, okay. a reclusive country lady. Now, I know, and I was reading a few other little um, informative tips there. The mother who meets the adult version of the baby she put up for adoption. Oh. This is like high drama. It's intense. But again, it goes back to life. Everything in this collection is about life. Thank you. That's the greatest compliment that you could give me. And the interaction between those two, the mother who put up the baby mm -hmm. and the wonderful, talented young woman who arrives at their meeting kind of turns the tables on who wants what out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna give away anymore though. Okay, don't, don't. And, and listen, <laughs> Diane, at the end of the day, a complex relationship doesn't mean there's no love involved because, you know, I'm a daughter and my mother and I, we can sometimes have a little tiff every now and then, but there is so much love even in that tiff that it's okay to say it's complex and sometimes it could be a little rocky, but at the end of the day, most of these mother-daughter relationships are filled with love. They are, and there are some stories that will make you sad yeah. or make you angry, but there are other stories in the collection where you're going to nod and say, yeah, oh, that's right. Oh, I get right. that. That's I cool. get it. Yeah. Some things you touch on. You touch on sadness, laughter, loss, failure, and discovery again at the end of the day i'm thinking back to my life and my relationship with my mom and i think we've kind of gone on that roller coaster of a little bit of all of it but it makes us better humans i totally agree and there's a, a place in i think the forward to the book where it says the mother-daughter relationship is like a silken thread occasionally dotted with barbs oh my goodness okay Will you just say that once again for me, Diane, before I leave you? I love that. Say that one more time for me. Thank you, Janine. The mother-daughter relationship is much like a silken thread occasionally dotted with barbs. Ah, 
and we'll end on that. Diane Thomas Plunk, thank you so very much. And thank you.